Shalom. Shalom. Rakata Yahawa. Rakata Yahawa. Rakata Yahawa Shah. Rakata Yahawa Shah. Rakata Yahawa. Rakata Yahawa. Rakata Yahawa Shah. Rakata Yahawa Shah. Rakata Yahawa. Rakata Yahawa. Rakata Yahawa Shah. Rakata Yahawa Shah. Call hello Yahawa. Bahashem Yahawa Shah. Bahashem Rakata Dash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. We also want to send a peace and salutation to the elect. All right, the house of David, the first fruits that are being brought back to the Heavenly Father through the sacrifice made by His only begotten Son, Mashiach Yahweh in whom we have received the comfort which is the Holy Spirit, which has inspired us and allowed us in these latter days to stand on our feet, as is written in biblical prophecy. You have the whole world trying to figure out why this is happening and what, what is the purpose of us standing out on the street corners, what is the purpose of us taking over YouTube? Well, the purpose is that the house of the Lord be built and that the kingdom of heaven be set up and wickedness be put out. That's okay? right. And that's going to be done when you read the Bible because that's what we go by. We go by what's written in the scriptures. When you read that, that's going to be done by the house of David being rebuilt. Okay, That's how salvation and that's how everything is going to change. And if you look at the men of the Lord, we are changing the entire planet Earth through just word, through just a new song. All we're doing is making videos all we're doing is pushing out a particular energy and vibration, and it's leading to things happening on planet Earth, man. Right. All right. And today, as you see the title, we wanted to deal with the story of David and Goliath, because when you look at that story spiritually, this is basically what the house of David represent, because we're, we're small, all right, we're, we're looked down upon, and then you have this giant in the form of, not only you have the so-called white man, you have the so-called Jew, you have your everyday so-called white man. You have the, sh the shysters, you got the heathen, okay? But on top of all of that, what do you have? Niggas, mm -hmm. all right? That, that, that whole entity represents Goliath, man. And these people are, are more in number, all right? They have more influence, all right? And they're able to lie on you. They're able to do anything within their power to do, all right? But overall, all right, <laughs> through our rock, all right, Hamashiach Yehawashah, which seems small in this world, but it's bigger than anything ever outside of the Most High Himself. We're going to win this, this, this battle, man. And we have faith in that. Unlike the house of Saul, which is wax, wax and weak, because the house of Saul is back here today. Mm -hmm. These faithless guys who are trying to scurry away from the battle, okay, that represents the house of Saul. But the house of David is waxing stronger. So let's start off with uh, Psalms uh, <laughs> one, 142 and 6. Can I, can I start the first verse and then jump to six? Yeah. No, no, no. 42, start at one. Okay, okay. This is Psalm 142, verse one. It says, I cried unto Yahweh with my voice. With my voice unto Yahweh did I make my supplication. Right. And this is like the elder Ariel was saying. You speak those prayers out loud. This is what David was doing. Okay? These weren't thoughts. These were things that David was saying. All right. And then the rest of those Levite priests whom he, been, he endowed as, as singers within his choir, Asaph, and you had other Levites. They were singing songs unto the Lord. They were expressing what their soul was feeling, all right? And that's what we as the, the men of the Lord have to do. The new priests. We're a kingdom of priests now. Okay, go ahead. Con, verse 2. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. And don't ever think that you're complaining too much to the Lord. Now, with brothers, you have to balance it out. You can't always come into war with me, Spirit. But a large portion of brothers' conversation is going to be complaining sometimes. A brother complaining, hey, complain with them sometimes. Now, if you see that as too much, then you tell them, look, man, you, you got to sort of balance it out. But if a brother complaining, sometimes you don't have to tell them to be positive. Complain with them. You know? Some, but if you would notice that it's a problem, this brother's losing his damn mind, and you'd be like, brother, you, you, know, you got to sort of relax, man. You want to go... Go, go sit by some water. You know, you want to go chill. Let's go burn some incense, talk. You know, good brother, because brothers are catching hell, man. We're tormented. We're those, if we're those men, the reason why we're so tormented is because our creation, all right, under the influence of the, the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh is being tainted. Okay, so you're frustrated. You're mad. You're looking out into this world, and everything you see, you judge it. And that causes, that's hell within this flesh, man. Having that, that, that priestly royal mind frame, but, but being subject to filth <clears throat> on a daily basis, that's going to cause you to complain. And that's what David had to go through. And we as his house are going through the same thing. Go ahead. Con, con. 
uh, just real quick, I just want to say real fast, you know, the scripture says, you know, to cast your burden upon the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Any any heavy thoughts that you're dealing with, man, hey, yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he wants you right. to bring it to him so he can fix it for you, man. Right. He's looking for you to, to call out to him for, for deliverance. Right. You know, know what I mean? Right, right. And when some brothers complain, sometimes you can tell them, look, focus on the, the winning aspect of it. Okay. But that's written too. All right, you, look, man, it's written what Esau going to do is written to Jacob's trouble. Well, guess what else is written? The standard. Somebody go win. And just because you put to death or a martyr, that don't mean you lost. Right. Okay, so there's no way to lose, and you have to understand that. If you're of the elect, you're not going to lose. Okay? You got something? Yeah, real quick. Go ahead. Sirach, chapter 38, verse 20. Take no heaviness to heart. Drive it away and remember the last end. Right, so it's a balance with it. Remember the last end. Remember that the Lord is going, we're going to win. Esau, man, is not going to win. No matter what he got set up, what he got cooked up. <laughs> you know, a demon. He's not going to win. Wickedness is going to take the L when you read the scriptures. Left hand, all of these out arterial motives, people like that ain't going to win. Yeah. They may be able to deceive for a while and within this, because it's, it's just basically power over the flesh. What's coming is something beyond this flesh, brothers. The Most High wants to show his power in taking down his flesh. Right, right, right. So he's allowing it to, to, to reach up and unto the heavens. Right, right. To right. show, to have that final show that I am yeah. the power and the terror of this universe. Oh, yeah. It's me. It's, it's me. Coming. It's me. All right, let's keep reading the Psalms. Con, con. This is Psalm 142 and 3. It says, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me, mm -hmm. then thou knewest my path. Mm -hmm. He still was overwhelmed. Just going to what the brother did, the other was bringing out, man. A lot of times, you know, as you uh, progress in his truth, man, you had certain feelings that you don't know how to even articulate, man. Mm -hmm. That's when you cry to your Heavenly Father. Right. You see what I'm saying? For understanding. Right. You see? That's that's your refuge, man. You know, every feeling it isn't, you know what I'm saying, linear or like good or bad. This going to have Different feelings you going you gonna uh receive uh judgment in this in this walk of yours. So you're gonna have different feelings, man, and different scenarios that you have to go through in your life, man. When you feel overwhelmed, that's when you call on the heavenly father. Right? You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? It is out of your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't got no other options. That's right. It ain't nothing else for you to do. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord will put you in that position. He gonna look, he gonna continue to grind. Until you submit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I got I gotta, uh, I gotta bring this up real quick and get right back to it. Just to add on what y'all saying. Romans 8 22. Uh, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Woo! Because <laughs> yeah. the first fruits created everything. You see? So. Through the first fruits being reestablished, everything is going to be as it was supposed to be. So the whole creation is wore out, waiting on the, the sons of God to be established back in their order, you know? Wanting to be put into their glory with Yahweh right. Hashem, Yahweh right. right. as promised. Right. Right. That's that earnest expectation. Right. So it's right. to receive of the promise. You earn, you know? Yeah. And that, and that earnest thing is only given to certain men, the only certain chosen men are going to be allotted to have that earnest expectation all right and that because that expectation is going to keep you in the hope of receiving the promise mm -hmm. it's going to be your driving force so when you're going through what you're going through you are you you have that earnest expectation of receiving that glory with your how about shimmy i was shot and that expectation leads to uh, anxiety uh man is fucking with you everything man yeah you know what i'm saying you want to get out of this flesh. You want to get out of here, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to be righteous. You want to be on point for your how about some of shot. You know? And sometimes you don't have the uh, the idea to, to uh, or the ability to express that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's when you pray to the Lord, man. You see? You can feel all these all these uh, uh, different, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, emotions, and you think that you're wicked, man. And that's when that the demon will come in. That's why it says in Proverbs that the, the name of the Lord, the Yahweh Shimei Al is a strong terror. That's when you run to, you pray to that man. You see, 
Cause those, 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 the, the, that earned, hey man, what, what we got in store for us, man, and and, and want and, and and also wanting to, to to be a part of that number, man, that is driving me crazy, man. Mm-hmm. It says oppression makes a wise man mad. In uh, Ecclesiastes seven and seven, you look at that word mad, it goes into literally going crazy, insane, man. You see, and that goes back ties back to what we're talking about that earnest expectation. Tired of seeing this oppression. Tired of your people living living in this state. You see, you want more. You want the high, uh, the the, uh, the ultimate power. You how about Shimmy Shah to come down here and change this place. And you also, you want to be a part of that change. That's right. You see? Done. Right. So I'm going to finish up this, and it's going to basically bring all that home. Romans 8, 23. Uh, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirits, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, right. w- waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Right. Going back into that glorious form. Right, that, uh, that's what a, 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 a earnest is. It's basically having some on the railway so you can redeem it in a period of time after. Okay, the redemption of our body, the, the, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, the the getting out of this thing and and, and getting what you're supposed to get. Right, that's something that's saved for you in the heavens. Okay, real quick, skipping down to 26, verse 26 is because it talks about how we saved by hope. You know. It says, but in 26 it says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself make an intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. Mm. That's what keeps us going. That's it's what written talking, in That's you. what it's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what it is right there. And it's, look, it says, And he, he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit. Right. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. That's so right. Yahweh Shai, man, you know, that's a part of us being that being a part of being sealed. The angel said, you know, they gonna be sent, seal the elect, man. You gonna be. I will say, and you also have to submit to that power, mm-hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai, I will say, I will say, you 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 can't stop Yahweh Shai from doing his thing, man. You know what I'm saying? The whole point, the whole point of us. The whole point of him being able to dictate and put these thoughts in our minds and all that is only if you submit first. That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? If you bucking up and you got other agenda and all that, it's not gonna seek, it's not gonna uh it's not gonna uh be established. And then on top of that, it's a gift on whether you're gonna have the spirit to submit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well that's why King David and what we're going into was called a man after the most high's own right. heart, man. He was always he always wanted the will of y'all by Shimmy Shah to be done. Even when he recognized he was wicked. You know, he, you know he, he he accepted the rebuke, man. He always wanted, hey, man, whatever y'all about Shimon Shah wants, man. Yeah, integrity. Okay? Right. Mm-hmm. So let's get back to that song. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on, come on. It's a song. You finish it? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a Psalm 142. I want to read verse 3 again. It says, When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, when thou knewest, when thou knewest my path, in the way wherein I walked, have they privately laid a snare for me. Everywhere you look, there's a snare for you, man. All right, amongst your own people, and then you go out in the world, man. We like, man, this is a, this is a path full of thorns and bribes and all sorts of things that can trip you up, man. And any of these things at any moment can become a stumbling block for you to say, you know what, this is too much. Yep. And turn back, you see. But it's only the the, the elect are going to endure to the end, man. Go ahead. Verse four. I looked on my right hand and beheld. And there was no man, and there was, and there was no man that would know me. Right, nobody's fucking with us, man. Mm. Go ahead. Come. It says refu- uh, refuge. Refuge. This is coming, brothers. Like the whole world is going to blame you. Mm-hmm. The Hebrew Israelites. You're the problem. Particularly Great Millstone, but all of you know a lot of Jake think that once Esau rolled, he going to put us in sections and say, well, this group is better than yeah. the other. Yeah. You guys are just more easily located. Right. You know? And you've sold yeah. out. Yeah. You've yeah. made because deals you sold with out. Them. You've made deals it's with true. them. Because so you sold out, you're more easily yeah. located. Right. <laughs> you have, right. you know, physical. It's hard to attack a spiritual temple. Yeah. A physical temple. It's easy to get rated, that physical Tax temple. evasion. All that. Yeah. And anybody who thought that the, the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, wore, would wear a wave cap, man. <laughs> and throw parties Same. in the lady bed. Hey, but at the end of the day, our people are messed up. You yeah. know, may whoever's sincere that were amongst them, man, 
Hey man, may they come into the truth. Yeah. You know, but that's crazy that man, that's showing you, man, our people, yeah. man. Woo. You know? And we didn't most I was gonna get that guy, yeah. man. Yeah. Hey, most I ain't in the time of yeah. waiting, so we gotta make sure we in the right spirit, man. Right, right. Um, right. Get clipped and we you know <laughs> he could, you know, we knew through the spirit he was gonna get clipped. He yeah. was wicked. He was wicked. It's wicked. It's only a matter of time. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Con, verse 4. It says, I looked on my right hand and beheld, and there was no man that would know me. Right. Refuge failed me. Uh -huh. No man cared for my soul. Right. And that's what's coming. Yep. Go ahead. And that's what David is, is expressing here. And as the house of David, when you these songs were written for you man. in the latter days to read and apply it to your life and your situation in a spiritual manner, man. These songs are comforting. Now we understand what the Messiah was feeling. Now we understand what David was feeling. Yeah. But we feeling it in our own perspective, spirits, and way, and captivity. Go ahead. God, man, these psalms is heavy, man. Yeah. Verse 5, it says, I cried unto thee, O Yahweh. Mm -hmm. I said, thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Right, and do your complaining to the Lord, too, sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. The Lord does not care. You read half all a, a lot of these psalms are complaints. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing wrong with man. Lord, come on, man. Please, man, save us from these devils, man. Why are you allowing this for so? You know, right? Complain to the Lord. It's nothing wrong sure. with that. God, you do it with them res with, with, with respecting you. You know, you're talking to a superior, you're, you're the the Creator. But at the end of the day, you you're still crying. Hey, the the, the 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 angels in the heavens, Revelation six, are crying unto him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, saying, I, the, the, these songs, these songs are these videos, man. You know what I'm saying? When brothers do their videos, Pencil, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The, these are the modern day songs, man. These videos that brothers putting up through the spirit, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like now, if you equate that to today, how many songs is it? A hundred and a hundred and forty. That's what I'm saying. Those videos being put up, man. You got it. This is this is Isaiah, chapter sixty one, verse six. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. And that's what's going on, man. That's what's going on, man. Like, like we was talking about earlier in class. If you ain't the whole road to lose, you're in the wrong business, homie. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 7. And give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. That's just like the elder said, man. Beg the Heavenly Father, man. Say it out loud. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole point, it says the Heavenly Father's good pleasure yeah. to set everything right, to set everything in order. We the one, I'm saying, he ain't waiting, we are. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. Yahweh hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm saying that his right hand is your house shot, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And all this work that we're doing ain't in vain. That's right. Go ahead. And the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine for for the witch that has labored. Basically, all the work that we're doing is going to pay off, man. Yep. All this work is going to pay off. Go ahead. But they have gathered, it shall eat it, and praise Yahweh. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. That's what I'm saying, man. man. Like I said, all this work is going to pay off, man. That's right. You got to believe that, you know? Is that right. it? Oh, yeah. Come, come. Courts of his holiness can be read in Revelation 21, you know? Go back there, and then we got to get the story. Okay. Come, uh, come. Go ahead. This is verse, uh, verse 6. It says, uh, Psalm 142 and 6. It says, Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors. For they are stronger than us. Right, so David acknowledging that his persecutors are stronger than him. But that's by flesh. Spiritually, they're not stronger than us, man. And this is what the, 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 the story of David and Goliath basically is going into. Deliver me from my persecutor, for they are stronger than I. See, the, the story of David and Goliath, which we're going to get into, it has a spiritual meaning as well, which ties into the house of David here in these latter days. And we're faced with a lot, man. Look at what we're telling. We're telling the world that through this little rinky-dink moving movement, we're going to take over everything, man, in righteousness. And that the, the Messiah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is coming back to take all of you heathen down and put crowns upon his head. And him and his first fruits, which are the 144,000, 
are going to set up a righteous government on the planet Earth, man. That's the story of the Bible, man. Right. And that's basically likened unto to David and Goliath, man. And we're going to read it. Go ahead. Whoever got it. I had it right here. This is uh, 1 Samuel 17 and 1. Now the Philistines gathered uh, together the armies to battle and were gathered together at Shachon. Sh Sh Speak up a little bit. Okay, Shachon, so which uh, belongeth to Judah and pitched uh, between Shocho so 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 and uh, Azekal and uh, Ephes and uh, and Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together mm -hmm. and, pitched, and pitched by the valley of, of uh, Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistines. Right, so Israel's at war with the Philistines, <clears throat> which is a race war. Right. Okay, a war between two races of people right. recorded in the Holy Bible. Okay, racism. Yeah, which, which you Christians know. Which you Christians know. You just now changed up your doctrine, man. That's right. Yo, what, a hundred years ago, you didn't consider us human beings according to the scriptures. You, 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 you thought that we were subhuman, man. You think, you, and it's it, well documented. Right. Brief is compromised. Come on, man. Nothing new under the sun, man. Everything that you see happen is ordained to the Heavenly Father. I changed. Keep reading. Uh, verse 2. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched, and pitched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in a raid against the Philistines. Right. And Saul, who was a Benjamite, was anointed king, all right, by Samuel. All right, so he's the king, and the Philistines are at, at war, and he's like, shit, man, you're going to see why, you know? Mm -hmm. Which there's a story when you read back to the 12 tribes on why a Benjamite was the first king, but we'll get into that on another day, dealing with, because uh, Reuben was the firstborn. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, but he sinned, all right? His brother was sinned. And, and who came? It was Benjamin and Reuben. They came out of the same mother, yep. Reuben and Benjamin. And but that's a whole other story. Go ahead. Came out of Rachel. Yep. Um, and Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together. Oh, shit. And in verse 3, and the Philistines stood on a mountain on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side. And there was a valley between them. And and there went out a, a champion out of the camp out of, out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath. Mm-hmm. Whose height was six cubits in a span. Right, Goliath. And when you look up that word, uh, what does it mean? Look up the word Goliath. Huh. And he was a Philistine, which goes back to what? Palestine. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you look at uh, the, the, the yeah. Goliath, what does he represent? All of our enemies, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the main enemy today is out over there in Palestine, man. Yeah. Immigrants. Yep. You know? Who's in Palestine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right there, yeah. Immigrants. The, uh, the word uh, uh, Palestine is immigrant, right? Yeah, in Palestine. So it's basically the heathen. Yeah. What's that scripture? Get get the scripture where all of the heathen are. Uh, Psalms 83. Yeah, yeah, Psalms get 83. that. Go ahead. I got a lot of two. Go, go ahead. Uh, uh, Galaya. Galaya is uh, uh, Strong's H1555. Splendor. It Splendor. It's right. Look at the root. The lot to uncover, remove, to go into exile. <laughs> to go into exile. <laughs> it says to. Uh, what to, did you get from that? What to uncover get? oneself. Right. From the, the people in that land. No, that's who I think about from their plants. Right. Right. In Palestine. Yeah. 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 Exile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They don't belong there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all of our heathen, really, the position that they're in on the earth, they don't belong in it. Okay, they just have that through our curse, all right? But the blessing, they're not going to yeah. be in the position that they're in. Yeah, to make naked. Right. Yeah. And that's what they've done. Go ahead. Psalm 83? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like it says, you know, uh, what's that in Isaiah? To uncover Babylon, mm -hmm. the virgin, she's just, you know. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Right. Skirt's been lifted up. Right, right. right. Go ahead. We're doing this off the top of the head, brother, so bear with us, man. Go ahead. <laughs> Psalm 83, I saw at the top. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, 
Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult on his head, and he owns with a coat of, of mail. Mm -hmm. uh, and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of brass. And he had. Uh, 5,000 shekels is very heavy, yeah, by the way. It must be big, man. I was saying that's like uh, when you uh, said the, uh, the, uh, in the definition for Goliath, you, you said splendor. You know what I'm saying? The definition for splendor in, the, uh, in uh, Google definitions, it says magnificent and splendid in appearance, grandeur. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at Goliath, you see the magnificence. You see it, right. he's very intimidating looking. Right. And that's and that's how we that's how we look, we look small amongst the other nations. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. When you think about let's say the Lord created 18 nations, 17 nations is all up against us, and they got the upper hand. Yeah, two thirds. You know that's what I'm saying? Answer what, that's what I'm saying. 18 and a, what, uh, 17 and a half nations. You know what I'm saying? And then you got I was saying, and then here here it is us. Here it is us. Totally at the bottom of the and They have the influence. You the say way that people man. on the earth they think geared towards their perspective. Huh. They, their influence can can easily go to millions of people. Right now, they can put a video out about us or put us on the news, and people will automatically look at us as terrorists. Right. They have that power to do that, man. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to win? Exactly. The spirit of exactly. Yahweh. The spirit of Yahweh, spirit of Yahweh which we're going to get into. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And he had a, a grease of brass upon his legs, and a target, and his spears, and he stood, and his spears cried upon the armies of Israel. Right, he cried, he's talking shit. He was, he was, I want the smoke, Goliath wanted smoke. Yeah. yeah. He was talking <laughs> shit. And watch what Jake was doing, go ahead. And said unto them, why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am I not a Philistine and you servant to Saul? Right. Like you at work and it's a hard ass claim and you don't click the button to take that claim. That's what Saul was doing. He was trying to ignore that claim. He was like, oh. looking around. You, know, you fighting everybody else, but when it comes to Goliath, you acting like you don't see this nigga. Right, right. Because you lack faith. Absolutely. Saul lacked faith. Right. And that's what you see happening now with these niggas in these other camps. Uh, they're right. scared of the. They're scared of Goliath. They're scared of fight. They're scared of that fight. That's right. So they're attacking us. Exactly. Just like no. Goliath. Just like Saul attacked David. Right. Yes. Absolutely. So so everybody, everybody was telling David everything to playing out spiritually right now. And that's what you gotta. This is what spiritual men do. When we read the Bible, the Old Testament applies, man. Even if it already happened. That's right. Okay, you apply it to now, man. Yep. And I, you know, and it, you know, it's funny how his, David's heart, his song, is what is kind of comforted Saul. You know, mm -hmm. right, right. Him playing that harp, you know, and we're playing skillfully upon the harp, man. Go ahead. Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. Right. Imagine him. He's just walking back and forth outside of your camp. Nigga, come bring somebody. Come fight, nigga. Yeah, talking man. You know talking. you. you yeah. Hey, you you fight you war we at war right I'm a Philistine nigga hey, jumping up and down God. stretching doing jumping jacks hey. and shekels and hey, you put on a weight jacket you can't you run you I used to run the beach when I played college football I used to run the beach with a, with the weight jacket on mm -hmm. you you barely can move he had five hundred shekels he had his big yeah. ass you know yeah. just a yeah. big yeah. ass strong yeah. so Saul is like oh lord he acting like it ain't happening so, like, like, everybody, yeah. everybody was doing that shit like, yeah. everybody yeah. was telling David everybody, everybody because who who uh, follow Saul uh, David's three other brothers yeah yeah they follow Saul so you are gonna see they gonna be mad like nigga when he come they gonna be like what you here for nigga you just wanna see us lose watch <laughs> yeah. go ahead right. bitch ass niggas choose you a man for <laughs> you and let him come down to me right Ooh. Yeah, square he business. Smoked. Right. <laughs> That's he be, he wants that smoke. Yeah, anybody can get it. Anybody <laughs> can get it. That's how Esau is right now. And That's how Esau is right now. Go ahead. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then then would we be your servants. But if I prevail against you and kill you, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. That's right. Go ahead. And the Philistines, and the Philistines said, I defile the army, the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. So this was a period of time. This wasn't one day. 
Saul ignored this dude for, I think, like, I think it was 40 days, I believe. I forget how long it was, but Saul ignored him for some time. It wasn't just one day. Goliath, kept, he was talking shit for a minute. Mm. He said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Like, how are you trying to get I it? I hate you. Y'all niggas ain't shit. You know what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah. This day, I'm telling y'all, so y'all face. Right. What you going to do about yeah, it? Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. Shit, yeah, man. Wow. And the Philistines said, what's like it? Verse 11. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. <laughs> they were afraid. Oh, and this is what the house of Saul, who's back here today, is okay. doing today. They okay. are afraid of this battle. Right. See, the leaders, we're on the forefront, man. And we're not forcing it. It just happened. Right. See, these niggas are trying to force their, their, their uh, mm -hmm. uh, apostleship or whatever you want to call it. But the men of the Lord, we just do it, man. Go ahead. That's why... Uh, the Lord took the uh, the uh, the kingdom from Saul because he lacked faith. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know. There you go. So Saul is doubting. Saul is like, man, this nigga big as hell. You know, ain't you going? No, I ain't going, man. Fuck that. And they got movies out. Like he he had an attitude. He was real. People were talking to him. He was talking shit and screaming at people. He was like a tyrant because he knew he looked bad. You know. Go ahead. Kind of. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of the Aphrodite. Af Af and what do you see happening all throughout the planet Earth? You, if you are spiritual, you see Esau trying to set the tone to come at us, man. Mm -hmm. And Jake sees it, and Jake is scared, man. So they like, well, I, not all you mice gonna die. They will be around. Well, America ain't gonna be destroyed. Not all of it. We don't even know who the 12 we tribes are. We just got to go stay. We don't know who the 12 tribes are. They bitched up. Uh, they bitching up. They trying man. to find a way out. The house of Saul. All over again. Right. See it in the spirit? Yeah, it ain't just one. It's a lot of them niggas. Right. And, and just like with Absalom, they know it's nothing. The men who follow Absalom, they said they didn't know a goddamn thing. And that's these people who follow these guys. Yeah! Vain men. No matter what they come with, it's yeah. Yeah. You mean none of you didn't believe this shit? Like, you ain't gonna stand up for nothing? They could change anything at the drop of a dime, and you're automatic. That's the house of Saul. Doubt. They're just looking for a reason to have doubt and not take initiative to have a bold statement. Right. Which, in this world, you can, for you can move forward with that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's just like everybody was telling David to file back. Right. Man, you gonna get all those killed, man. Right. Hell no, man. Right. All the Edomites gonna get destroyed. Uh huh. Yeah. No. That's where they at. Israel is getting no. ready to blame Great Millstone. Scared as hell. Hey, they gonna start blaming y'all the reason. No, nigga, the prophecies are the reason. <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying is, David, David understood that anything was possible. In the spirit of believing, Yahweh Bashan was shy. He knew that anything was possible. He had that confidence. Like Elijah had that confidence. That's you know? right. Whenever whenever he knew, he said, look, man, it's more with us to be with us than he understood God. fully walking in the spirit. That's the mind frame you got to have. You know what I'm saying? That hope, that faith. And I have a quick precept. Uh, Matthew 15 and uh, 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Mm -hmm. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. And the blind has no faith. They blind, they don't, they so blind they don't understand faith and the and, and how it profits you in this truth, man. Right. Somebody on the comment board is asking, what's that scripture that says that Israel turns to the east? First Kings 8. It's yeah, first, first Kings. First Kings, the eighth chapter, but it's also one in Apocrypha too, right? That's another one somewhere. But that first Kings the eighth chapter. It's first Kings eight and yeah. Yeah. I, I like forty three or something like that. Uh, that's always a hard one to find. But I got a precept real fast. You finished with yours? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. This is Mark chapter 11, verse, uh, I'll start at verse 22. It says, And Yahweh shot answering, said unto him, unto them, Have faith in Yahweh. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, Ooh. but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Mm. He shall have whatsoever he saith. And that's what they, that's why David had that confidence because he understood that. Mm -hmm. See, that. And the rest didn't. And the house of David are the only ones blessed with the mind frame of Yahweh. 
the 144, right. the tabernacle, those precious stones, they have the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, the Through their faith, faith, the believers will believe, <clears throat> and the elect will be gathered, and we will win. <clears throat> go ahead. That was it on that. Let's go back to the story. Uh, 1 Samuel uh, 17 and 12. Now, David was the son of the uh, Aphrodite of uh, Bethlehem, uh, Judah, whose name was Jesse, and he had eight, eight sons. That's the root of Jesse. Okay, Jesse had many sons, but David was the chosen one. Just like Noah had sons. Just like Isaac had sons. Just like Abraham had sons. Right. The Lord is dealing with his chosen. Go ahead. Even within, even, like, even within the nation, with, with the whole uh, Ephraim and Manasseh, it was how the Lord wanted it to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord can intervene. Yeah. Go ahead. Come on. And the man went among men, uh, and the man went among men for a old man in the days of Saul. And the three uh, eldest uh, sons of Jesse went and followed uh, Saul to the battle. Right. See, those were David's three brothers. They went and followed Saul. All right. Go ahead. But and the Lord set David apart from that for a purpose. Go ahead. And the names of his three sons that went. To the battle where he lived, the firstborn, uh, the next uh, unto him was Abinadab, uh, Abinadab, and the third, uh, Shem Shema. Shema, that means astonishment, I believe. Go ahead. Uh, Shema. Uh, and David uh, was the youngest, and the three elders followed Saul. But David went and returned uh, from Saul to feed the the. His father's sheep. Yeah, right. So what did David do? What was David's job? He was feeding the sheep. As a shepherd. Yeah. Just like Abel. Mm -hmm. Like Jacob. Mm -hmm. You know, tended to his father's flock, man. Feed my sheep if you love me. Yep. So David, <laughs> David, uh, he was, he was, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he's the head of the church. Go ahead. He's making increase. Right. He's making increase. That's right. Go ahead. What are you supposed to do when you glorify Yahweh by Shimon Go ahead. Go ahead. And the Philistines drew near morning and evening and presented himself 40 days. 40, 40 right. days. You're so right. the Philistines, so Goliath was talking shit for 40 days. Over a month. He was talking shit. shit. Nigga, come out. Take, Deontay Wilder. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, Deontay Wilder. Yeah, man. That's the spit yet, man. Hit this chest. He was making deals and everything. Like, Hey, y'all be my servants. Uh, if, if if I win, you know, you trying to get that fight. Bomb squad. I'm going for you, <laughs> nigga. Bomb squad. Bangs in his neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's bangs in his neck. This is what Saul was looking at this nigga like, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the nigga tall as a telephone pole, yeah. drinking and brass, and right. can't fight. Yeah, shit, like Zeus on the whole Right, right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And Jesse uh, said unto David, his son, "Take now for thy brethren, thy brethren." Mm. It was given unto David. Yeah. Go ahead. So he basically, he was just like, you know, take this to relieve them. They were at war. Go ahead. And carry. These ten cheese unto the captain of their of their thousand, mm -hmm. and look how thy brethren fare, and took and take their uh, pledge. Mm -hmm. and now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Ephah, fighting the Philistines. And David rose Elah. up. Elah, Elah, it's like it. Elah, it's like it. Fighting with the Philistines, and David rose up early in the morning. And left the sheep with a keeper. Right, he left it with another keeper. He made sure he just leave the sheep. Right, sure he up. made yeah. sure. Look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> he was on it. Right, yeah. right. He ain't just gonna leave. He gonna make sure that the sheep were being guided. Come, come. Okay, you pay attention to little stuff like that in story. Go ahead. Come. And took and went, and Jesse had command as like it, Jesse had commanded him, and he came to the trench. As uh, as the host was going going forth to fight, and shouted for uh, for the battle, uh, for Israel and the Philistines had had put the battle in a raid, army against army, and David left his uh, so along 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 the coast of that valley, man, they was setting up their armaments, getting troops ready, mm -hmm. assembling everything, getting everything ordered and right, because war was about to happen, mm -hmm. right now. David saw that he cried. Yeah, like, yeah let's go. Yeah. David come with the bread like, yo, good? What's, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Man. Go ahead. 
come. And David left his uh, carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage mm -hmm. and ran into the army and came and That meant he cared brother. about that flock. Yeah, man, it kept mentioning mention that twice. He cared about that flock. Mm -hmm. He just leave the flock. Go ahead. Got it. Uh, and, and as he talked with Slaki, uh, verse 22, and there left his carriage in the hand of the uh, of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the uh, army and came and saluted his brethren. Right. I and think he left the bread with the with the with the with the carriage driver or the, the person that had the, the materials. I think he left everything because he's seen the army coming, and then he went up there to go see uh, Saul okay. in the army. I, I believe. Right. Got it. Go ahead. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the, the champion, the Philistine of Gath, uh, uh, Goliath by name. Out, <laughs> out of the armies of the Philistines and spake according to the same words. Right, he was calling them out. <laughs> Showed up, right? Go ahead. Yeah. And, David, <laughs> God, and David heard them, heard them. For what? And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were so afraid. And the man of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that is come up? Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what, that's what you say. Man, Esau got tanks. Really? He got this. Right. They got that. Okay. You gonna make yeah, sure. Oh, we going to make Esau hate you. Hmm. Really? <laughs> it's the, so he, we the reason that Esau is going to start killing niggas. <laughs> He's been killing your ass since you got the birthright, man. I'm telling you. Right, man. I'm telling you. But we the problem. Watch. Jake is going to blame Great Mill. Y'all yeah. put a stain on Israel yeah. for bringing it out the 100% truth. It's true. Watch. These mm -hmm. niggas fit to blame us, bro. Bitch ass niggas, man. Cold hearted. Hot link niggas, man. <laughs> oh, Go ahead. Uh, surely, uh, surely to defy Israel, he is come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter mm -hmm. and make his father's house free in Israel. Right. Saul didn't he was hit, cool. Saul wasn't he wasn't taking the initiative to do it. He was like, well look, I'll pay somebody else to do it. But the elect, we're gonna take the responsibility to do it, man. Mm -hmm. As David is. Go ahead. Right. And David spake to the man that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth the Philistine mm -hmm. and taketh away the reproach from Israel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. For who And this is what the elect is saying, so so if we stand up, we do this sacrifice, you mean to tell me we're gonna get the kingdom of heaven? And we've taken the initiative mm -hmm. and we would we're, we're taking the leadership, man. Go ahead. For who is this uncircumcised yeah. Philistine. Who this nigga? Fuck is him, man. Who he supposed to be? That, yeah. And this is look at look at Esau, man. Look at this loser. Yep. Is this the man? This, so he reigns supreme. He's gonna this scoundrel is gonna win? Hell no, man. Right. No way, no how are we gonna bow down to the image of Baal, man, and and and, and, and be fearful of what they can do. And we know the heavenly Father. We know the truth. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is a. Second Ezra is, um, 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Mm -hmm. and that's what the, everybody was trying to get David to fall back. Everybody was telling David to fall back. His brothers was telling him. The army was telling him. like, bro, chill, bro. This nigga big as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nine, and, what, nine foot nine? That's you know what that six cubits was. Like nine foot something, man. You know what too? Hey, so, you know, you know what too. Satan does that in your mind uh -huh. with your individual challenges like that. You know, mm -hmm. going through everyday life, you like, man, you can't do that, man. You ain't gonna overcome. It's the same thing, but just in your mind, trying to make us doubt, like trying to make uh, David doubt his faith. David believed. They were trying to push him back to not mm -hmm. believe. And losing wasn't an option, right. for David. Right, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because he had faith in your house. Exactly. He had faith in the heavenly Father, man, and what the heavenly Father had going, man. He had that understanding, and he stuck with it, man. Everybody, when everybody else was scared, David didn't care about all that. Mm -hmm. He was bigger. Right. I got a preset if you were done all